Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Maokai aggro. I wanted to do something a little different with Maokai and just kind of something a little different in general. So Maokai is our new champion. First time you play another ally each round, you toss two and then summon a sapling. And that's going to be the key here is our saplings. The saplings are two ones with challenger and ephemeral. And so what I'm going to do, so we, we can't have like the ability to make some more ephemerals with the saplings. Um, and then also this new Blighted Caretaker creates two saplings, so it makes two ephemeral saplings. So I was kind of thinking, what if we just kind of go on a, an ephemeral theme and pair those cards with like Shark Chariot and bringing back Shark Chariot? So that's what we're going to do. We got, we got like an, an ephemeral aggro uh, deck. It's not really just about leveling up Maokai, but we have a lot of things that are going to die. And uh, Maokai can do a little bit of tossing, and so you know, maybe we level up Maokai and obliterate their deck. But otherwise, you know, it's it's mostly you know Shark Chariot attacking in. Um, you know, we have we're able to play like Mark of the Isles. They can give our stuff ephemeral. Um, going with Stirred Spirits, they can grant um, supporting allies ephemeral, but also pump them up. Um, so you know, got a lot of stuff like that. Like Zed, Zed's just an awesome attacker, and also makes uh, an ephemeral living shadow for uh, the shark to bring the shark back. So all sorts of good stuff. We got like one undying against um, against control decks, but we can also you know like we can do a lot of cool things with the undying with all those ways to give it ephemeral. Um, but it's good against control. Uh, we're going with death mark. You know, three death marks for our nice removal spell. Um, and then, you know, going the Dark Water Scourge combo with all this aggro running around. Hopefully, Dark Water Scourge and Deathmark get a lot of work done for us. Um, and then our, our top end, I'm, there's also a lot of Demacia decks. And so I'm going to try one Ruination that maybe we, we just get get them with a Ruination. Maybe Atrocity to finish people off. The thing is, is like, the champions are really good. We can only play six champions. And so, you know, we're trying out Maokai here, but... This, this kind of deck, we would normally be playing Hecarim instead of Maokai. So we'll kind of see, like, when we play it, like, if, if like, Hecarim would be better. But, um, yeah, you know, trying something a little different. Seeing a, a, a different version of a Maokai deck. All right, let's, let's give it a try. Oh. That's not what we want. Um, let's go, let's have the Moonstruck Poro. All right, let's get started. I like building new, um, you know, new decks, and even if even if they don't work out perfectly, should be get rid of this. Um, hopefully, I give give you all like ideas as far as um, you know building decks and everything like that too. Ooh, uh, the Undying is nice. So we can do a nice little trick with um, Stirred Spirits and Zed. You know, like if we attack with Zed first and then Stirred Spirits and then Zed will make the Living Shadow. The Living Shadow will be a 5-2 because uh, it'll have that support. But I think I think this is definitely the way we want to go. The so the problem with playing the Undying right now is like, let's say I play the Undying and then they Mystic Shot and kill my Stirred Spirits. The rest of my turn doesn't look so good, but I guess that's them. They don't kill my Zed. We got another Stirred Spirits anyway. We got the Butcher. This Eye of the Dragon card is incredibly good. It's incredibly good. Yeah, great turn. Going with the Stirred Spirit so that if they... If they had a third Mystic Shot or a Thermogenic Beam, something like that, they kill this, then I Black Spear and kill the Eye of the Dragon. Oh, 
That's so good. We're about to play the Yasuo Swain deck after this. Actually, we're going down the list. You can see here on the left-hand side. Yasuo Swain will be up next. And yeah, we're, we're playing five five games with each deck, as you can tell. And so we just started this one, so we'll get five games here, and then we'll move on and do five games there. Rekindler be able to bring back Zed if need be. It would have been nice to play Zed pre combat, but I really wanted to go straight to combat and give the Undying Ephemeral. It's a little unfortunate. Like, I want to play this before attacking, so you know, we get to attack with the saplings, obviously. But I probably want to start playing Rekindler next turn. It's a little unfortunate. So therefore, if I don't play any of these, I could atrocity this. But meh. Just gonna be tapping out for like these rekindlers and stuff for a while. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Hope they're not playing Yone. By playing Yone, I mean hope they don't have Yone in hand. I want to bounce this Blighted Caretaker, put this back in my hand. I hope this fizzles their spell. I don't know if it will or not. I hope it does. Uh, well, that was a waste. Yeah, that was a waste. To not fizzle. It's a complete waste. Hey, pirate. Belly beard. Just had fun with Shadow Isles, Freljord, Jank deck. We play as many hearth cards as possible using Chroniclers and Matrons. Awesome. I like it. Yeah, I really wish I didn't, didn't play that. That living shadow, for obvious reasons. Let him 
still on you. So much power crippled by restraint. Power is nothing without purpose. Hmm. have to kill karma this turn if I blighted caretaker and kill the undying then I don't get to attack with the undying and I want to do that and I have like the two two ones they would just attack and block those things um I think I go straight to combat. Yeah, best way to get champs with with your region rewards, I mean obviously just, you know, playing getting your XP with your region rewards, uh take each region to level 8 and then uh, um Can put them down to four. I'll just let this happen. Um, yeah, go to level eight. That's the champion capsule. Then go to the next region. Level that up to level eight, and so on. Do do each region to level eight first. Um, get your champion capsules as fast as possible. I wish we didn't just draw like every Zed. I have nothing to do. Why play these now? I guess because they're going to waste the mana. You just play those after after karma levels up. Oh, playing two spells for Dragling also. It works. They need a deny or um, health potion. Or, like, they can't have double mystic shot. They've already played all their mystic shots. Don't think that does anything. They I guess they just didn't have anything else. They're just trying it out to see what happens. All right, that's a good first game win against a really good deck. They had a strong hand. You know, turn two they had the Eye of the Dragon. Then turn three they had double Mystic Shot removal and um, you know, getting a Dragling. Like they had a good start. So. GG's the Undying and then Re Rekindlers bringing back Zed. Twisted Fate Lee Sin. Uh, this is also a really good deck. Um, we'll look at these two. We'll keep our champs. Okay, could be worse. I 
I do like that we'll have the attack token on turn three. I do like that. Get him, Zed. Get him. Get him. The old Zed stirred spirit stack. Are we picking up Zed first? Attacking right to left. Hopefully, do that cool little combo we talked about. You're cooler, Poro. You're cooler than their Poro. Boo. You can't choose where to put them on the battlefield. They're always placed left to right, but you you know you get to choose the attack order. And whenever you attack with them, then they rearrange um, here after after you attack. So we were gonna do like the Zed first, and then the Stirred Spirits. That's cool. Yeah, so you get to choose how you want to attack with them, and that's that can really be important with you know like the support and stuff. Ooh, a shark. A shark? Sharks are great. Ran out of room. I need more room. So I want to caretaker and kill the shark. Um, but then I would, I would get... So the caretaker would, would take that spot. Then we get one... We'd only get one ephemeral and not two. We get one sapling, not two. If I do that. I tire of waiting. Could just go for the death mark. Man, I could go risky. And Stirred Spirits give this thing plus two, plus zero, and then death mark it. Make it five power. Oh, that's kind of risky. That's not necessary. Um, yeah, it's not really necessary. Think I should go greed? So I also like this play. And just pump that up to being a 4 1. This is a pretty sweet turn, though. 
So I could take I could take the death mark away from the living shadow. Or just let everything happen. Yeah, we just let everything happen. This is just more valuable on, you know, a Twisted Fate or a Lee Sin, you know, like... Getting rid of Lee Sin is going to be a huge pain. Yeah, we do probably need that board space anyway. And this is just a crappy 3-2. I don't need to waste a good spell like Deathmark on that. No, I mean, yeah, Hecarim would be great, but you can only play two champions. Or, well, you know, like, we're playing Zed and Maokai. If I could, you know, if there wasn't, like, the six... Six card champion restriction, we would we'd certainly be playing Hecarim. Hmm. Zed's too good not to be playing a three of. Zed is too powerful. It's really you could you could be playing you could swap out a Maokai for a Hecarim probably, but um, you know doing something different here with the uh, uh, Maokai. So they are tapped out. This means they are just going to send the lease in at me now. But oh well, it's gone. Follow close. What is this? Ma oh, I was like, I don't have a sap magic in my deck. My best block is on my stirred spirits. There you go. Good job, Mike. You're out of iron. Awesome, good job. Let's go. Dude, that game was really impressive. Maokai was awesome in that game. That was just a really good game. Like that game that game showcased everything, like all sorts of like cool things that our deck can do and like really what it's all about. That was awesome. That deck that we beat was really good, too. And they, you know, they were doing really good stuff. That was an awesome game. We're just gonna mulligan all of these, but I okay. This is fine. <clears throat> I actually don't know what the fastest possible win. I assume it's like turn four, probably. I mean like the one mana cards deal three, so if you have like one drop, double one drop. 
Um, okay. It probably involves Zed on turn three. Zed attacks for six. So, probably involves Zed. <laughs> Opponents are Andrew's turn one, I guess. Knocked and ready. Definitely blocking. I will unite the frail yard. That's what you think. I will tend this garden. So this heal allies three doesn't heal your nexus. I certainly thought that card he helped healed your nexus before, but I played against it and it did not heal the nexus. I cannot be broken. still come out of this. We're going to need a lot of things to go our way, but we can still come out of this. Drawing all these, like, glimpse beyonds and stuff. It's not ideal. We need, we need Ash gone, and we have two chances to kill Ash, either with the sapling... Challenge or with the death mark, we need I Ash gone. So, enemy nexus is an enemy, but ally nexus is not an ally. Huh. <laughs> Alright, so we're, we're going to be killing the Ash. We might as well just remove the Ephemeral from the Shark Chariot, I guess. Not really any reason to do it from the Sapling, because the Sapling is just going to die anyway. So, like, the Shark Chariot will stay out there. It can't block, but, you know, maybe I sacrifice it to Glimpse Beyond. I don't know. We'll figure out what to do with that. Good draw. This may actually like be a downside for us keeping Shark Chariot in play because it can't block and it takes up one of my six slots. This may end up being a mistake. I really don't know how this is gonna play out, so we'll just kind of we'll just kind of see. I think not. All right. Well, we got it. this thing can't block either, but we got to play that so we get the ephemeral thing that does block. And now this ephemeral thing, we're gonna death mark and get rid of this Ash. Gotta keep getting rid of these ashes. Now when they attack though, they'll frostbite the shark. That's cool. Okay, ready. Avarosa, guide me. Uh 
Oh, it shows this, the stream disconnected again. Cool, I'm back. Alright, so if we kill... Doesn't really matter. Let's just kill this thing. They will pay for what they did to you. Basically, the problem with, with killing with, the ones. with killing the curse keeper, I don't have room. <laughs> I don't have room for the four four. Also, if I would have killed the, the curse keeper right then. Got a bunch of these saplings. What trick did they play? They played like some kind of trick or something, didn't they? Just a brittle steel. So I know this works. Like this this still works even if I glimpse beyond. Oh well, we'll still we'll still glimpse beyond. I'll I'll just see. We'll just double check. But this should still work. I mean I have nothing else that I was planning on glimpse beyonding that thing anyway. I don't know why it does. You think it would be Yeah, you think it was like targeting that thing or something, but no. Alright, well. <clears throat> Let's see. Attack with all these. So I wonder how this is going to work. Okay, I was wondering if this is still going to be ephemeral. Like, if that's going to be ephemeral or not. Since we removed the ephemeral before. I, I really honestly wondered how that was going to work. Fire knows its own. Round start, do one to everything. And I'm at two. Too little. Burn them all. Victory requires a sharp blade. You're just missing the three Maokai. Is he worth crafting for this deck? Um, Only the finest serve. Potentially. If you like playing this kind of deck, yeah, I mean... I don't know if you need to craft all three, though. Like, you know, Hec Hecarim could be a little bit better. I don't know. But honestly, the Maokai has been pretty great. It really has been. I have learned patience. It really has been great for us. Oh, yes. I know the Curse Keeper can't block where Rekindler can. We're still making a still making a blocker with the sapling. Um, my my Maokai is gonna die this turn, and so I kind of want to have the rekindler for after this turn because Maokai is gonna die. Remember why we fight. I'll do better this time. 
You're mine. You defile the grove. I mean, I guess I could play the sap magic. Oh, I oh, this is also just another Maokai. So maybe I should have played Rekindler. No, this is good. This is good. We'll play we'll play this as just a regular Maokai. Their only thing that's left is this thing that can't block. What's up, Maokai? Let's, let's obliterate that library. Let's go. The Blessed Isles live through me. Life starts small. All right, so now we make that two one sapling right away. Um. Open attack is good, but if I open attack, I don't have lethal. Dan, I'm sorry, Dan. I know. I'm sorry. I should have done. That's rude. That's rude. My bad. Is that 11? What do they got? Oh. Frostbite? Nope. GG. Okay. Maokai has looked really, really impressive in these games. Much, even better than I expected. Um, or e I guess even better than I hoped. Really. Certainly better than I expected and better than I hoped. Those 2 1 elusives. Uh, or not, sorry, uh, ephemerals. Those 2 1 ephemerals. Getting those every turn has been awesome. Yeah, those sharks are sneaky. Those sneaky sharks. Alright, everything costs three. Let's get rid of the Zed. Just weird, just against the aggro. I'm sorry, Dan. Yeah, I'd, I had a real busy day today. But I should have last night. I should have. After the stream last night, I just kind of, you know, chilled out and relaxed. Should have taken care of that last night. I got the 12 hour tomorrow, so, um, yeah, I need to do it tonight. <laughs> Take 30 seconds? Okay, yeah, so I definitely need to do that tonight. I won't want to do it tomorrow because I'll be getting ready, setting everything up and every everything. It's about 30 seconds. It means I can probably do it right now and just click something. I just gotta, like, click something. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can double task. Multitask? Better safe than sorry. For the Empire. The few for the many. Oh, I have to okay, I have to I have to have the other account signed in. Okay. Actually I can't do that right now. So yeah, I gotta do it afterwards. 
<laughs> we go as one. Routes closed. Duty. I can do this. Oh, not Boom Kuroki. Boom Kuroki's unbeatable. This is kind of an unfortunate hand for us to just, you know, drawing all, like, everything costs three. We mulliganed a couple of things, and all we did was draw more things that cost three. Even if I would have had this Curse Keeper on turn two, this would, or the Shark Chair. I didn't have either of these on turn two. We drew them right after turn two, when we don't want to cast them anymore. So that really couldn't have gone worse. They got to tear us down. We were doing too good with our 3 0. They had to just give us really bad draws. They had to tear us down. We were doing too good. Obviously, against that kind of burn deck, you can't just do nothing on turn one and nothing on turn two and expect to win. And then just single spell on turn three, single spell on turn four. If you know, like. No, we're dead. Yeah, and they came with the perfect curve, too. Uh, I mean, I guess it wasn't like Boom Crew on turn two and then like Draven on turn three, but you know, they didn't stumble, that's for sure. They had the four damage combo with their two drops. This hand is a mess. Okay. Combo. So now I don't even want to play the Shark Chariot on turn two so I could have this combo on turn three. not clear if the 4-4 is actually worse than, or if it's better, if it's better than Warshafts. Like if I should have played Warshafts. Unclear. Alright, Maokai's here to dominate. No. What is this? No. I need that Maokai. So not next turn, but the turn after I can get Maokai back. By that time, I won't have things to play anymore.
Huh. I was really considering playing the Dark Water Scourge first and killing the Dark Water Scourge instead of killing my 3 2 with this thing being ephemeral. But we do need to have units to play after we get Maokai back. I feel like, you know, like they're pretty close to stabilizing. Got a lot of cards in there. They have a powerful top end. Can we finish this game out? Repost? Okay. I think this is okay. One candle for every soul. I really don't want them to have single combat, have Garen kill my one four, that would be really bad. I guess we would we would glimpse beyond in that scenario, but that's still really bad. How do you mean such a clumsy weapon? With justice and honor. Hmm, it's interesting. No, I still do this. Cause I can go straight to attacks, use the mark of the owl, get the get the shark back. Uh but no, it's probably worth doing this and getting you know, we get two bodies. So like even if they play one thing and get one body, we just got two bodies. Good body to get. Alright, so we're going to attack with everything but Maokai. Come, come this way. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Pretty sweet. Mm, a delicious challenge. Precision and grace. Hold fast. Do not waver. One, one damage away from put, you know, if, if only Mark of the Isles was plus three, plus three still. If only. Alright, let's get Fiora out of here. They don't challenge my Maokai. Reconnecting. What's wrong with my internet today? Everything I've worked for. Hmm. 
Okay, I'll take a Zed. That's not bad. How do you wield such a clumsy weapon? With justice and honor. All right, should be live again. Just refresh. Oh no, another Fiora. I have to kill Garen. Or at least die trying. Yeah, it must be an internet problem, but like it. I don't know. It's like it just like cuts out for a second or something, but like it doesn't. It's not like affecting my game. So you'd think like internet problem would be affecting the game, because I think like I think like the recording's still good and everything. <clears throat> as far as I know. A lot of badger bears over there. Badger and me. I think I have to play this pre-combat. Like, if I don't play this, if I just, like, sapling, kill the Fiora, um... Maybe it's better to kill the loyal... No, it's better to kill Fiora. Kill Fiora and attack here, and they just block with something. Then they just go straight to attacks. So basically this is just a removal spell on whatever they want to remove. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's Twitch. I don't know. Mike, are you in are you in the Twitch chat right now, Mike? Probably not, because he just sent me a text. Cheating. No one goes hungry. That was the perfect draw. 
Literally the perfect draw. Probably. I don't know. It was a great draw. My shield is yours. <clears throat> okay. So I need you, 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 you. Pull that way over here. Pull this way over here. One, two, three. No, I don't have lethal. Uh. So close. Oh, the shark c comes over. Forgot about that shark. Dang it. So basically, my my only way of winning was they they Fiora challenge. Like I had to I had to top deck like Glimpse Beyond, right? Like I had to, I had to top deck something that like kills whatever. Um, Right, there's a reason why I want to attack with all six things is because I, I wanted I wanted to do the damage before the shark would come up, but no, nah, yeah, I couldn't. If only we, if only we could go seven wide, we would have won that. If we could have gone seven wide, or if they had one less life, but they did not. Darn, close game. Close game. Um, all right, so that that's Maokai aggro. We we lost the two other um, aggro decks, but we played really close games. Didn't go our way. Well, well, I guess the the fourth game wasn't very close, but we we drew really bad. Anyway, um, Maokai was awesome. Wow, this card really, this card really like made this deck. Um, yeah, it really made this deck like. The ability to get these saplings every single turn and use these for challengers and make the opponent's blocks really bad and also it be an ephemeral uh, creature. like So it did multiple things. It was also, you know, ephemeral, so it got our sharks back. But then also it was like blockers for us. You know, like when, if they play something, you know, normally they're not going to just like end the turn with like a bunch of stuff because we use our sapling to like kill something and, and everything like that so then so then it goes to their turn and so then they want to play a threat first they play a threat then i get to um play something and we get another sapling for a blocker so just having those free saplings every single turn was awesome um but yeah this was really cool this is a cool little deck We need that Ruination. No, that Ruination wouldn't have worked either. That 8-mana card, that's a difficult one to deal with. That one that makes Fiora not possible to die. Oh, well. Um, crazy, ga crazy games. Super close. Um, yeah, that 8-mana card won it for him. Yeah, so there's Maokai Aggro. We went 3-2, but I was really, really impressed with this deck. Um, and really impressed with Maokai in general. So... Um, you know, just, just tried a different way to play Maokai and it worked well. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, please hit that like button over there. Leave a comment. Um, also if you want to see your decks on stream, remember it's just a $10 donation. If you want, uh, your deck, um, there's a donation link down below. Uh, you just, you tell me what day you want me to play it and even what time slot, you know, like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and I'll play your deck, make a YouTube video of it and everything like that. All right, but that's it here for Maokai Agro. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.